so that they do have both self-esteem and hope. But at the end of the day, the responsibility, the buck stops with the individual. And that's the important thing about Theatre Nemo, because it does give self-esteem. It does give hope and improvement and advancement, but it also gives responsibility. So as I say, I think Theatre Nemo is to some extent a microcosm of what we need to do as a society. We need to recognise that everybody has self-value, self-esteem. Everybody is one of Jock Thompson's bairns. We need to give everybody in our communities hope, whether in prison or not, whether in disadvantaged and deprived areas. We need to give them some opportunity to believe that things can get better, even in difficult, turbulent economic times. And we need to challenge them to take responsibility. Nobody makes you drink it. Nobody forces you to inject it. At the end of the day, the person who's got to stand up and take responsibility is that individual. But if we do, then as we've seen and heard from Andy, we can transform not just those people who are lying incarcerated in prisons or sometimes more correctly perhaps in mental health institutions, we can get them out of there and we can motivate and mobilise those who currently are languishing in their home, depressed or whatever else, and make this a better country. So as I say, I just want to once again thank you for what you do, whether on a paid basis, a voluntary basis, and most particular of all, pay great tribute to Andy, who I think appears not just in his own capacity, but for each and every other person who's gone through Theatre Nemo or has gone through or goes through the same difficulties they can overcome as he has overcome.